Wednesday, May 12th, 2021, evening meditation, fifth week of Easter, Rogation Wednesday. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choices Teacher in Moral Theology, Act of Faith in the Presence of God, Nomen Apatri, Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Most Holy, Adorable, and Undivided Trinity, One God in Three Persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. It. That others may become holier than I. Provide that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace of desire. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this our evening meditation through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pana dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, or Pernobis peccatoribus. Nuc ne hor mortis nostre. Amen. In honor of St. Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray, Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancto, Secret Eret in Principio, Nuca Semper, and Secula Seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, and instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost. Grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise ever to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening meditation, the happy death of God's servants. Quote, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 115, 15. St. Bernard says that the death of the just is called precious because it is in the end, it, because it is the end of labor. And the gate of life. To the saints, death is a reward because the end of sufferings, pains, struggles, and the fear of losing God. That word depart, which is such a terror to worldlings, alarms not the just, because to them it is not painful to leave all worldly goods, for God has been their only riches, not honors, for they have despised them, nor relatives, for they have loved them only in God. Hence, as they frequently repeat it in life, so now with redoubled joy do they exclaim in death, My God and my all. Nor do the pains of death afflict them. They rejoice in offering to God the last moments of life and testimony of their love for him, uniting the sacrifice of their lives to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ offered on the cross for the love of them. 
Oh, what a consolation for the saints is the thought that now the time is over when they might have offended God and were in constant danger of losing him. Oh, what a joy to be able that then to embrace the crucifix and to say, quote, in peace and the selfsame, I will sleep and I will rest. Psalm 4, verse 9. The devil will endeavor at last, at that last time, to disquiet us by the sight of our sins. But if we have bewailed them and have loved Jesus Christ with our whole heart, Jesus will console us. God is more desirous of our salvation than the devil is for our perdition. Moreover, death is the gate of life. God is faithful and will indeed at that time console those who have loved him. Even in the sorrows of death, he will bestow upon them a foretaste of heaven. Their acts of confidence, of love of God, of desire soon to behold him, will be the beginning for them of that peace which they will enjoy throughout eternity. What joy in particular will the Holy Viaticum offer to those who can say with St. Philip Neri, quote, Behold my love! Behold my love! We should therefore fear not death, but sin, which alone makes death so terrible. A great servant of God, Father Columbar, said, quote, It is morally impossible for one who in life has been faithful to God to die an unhappy death, unquote. He who loves God is desirous of death, which will unite him eternally to God. It is a sign of but little love for God, not to desire soon to behold him. Let us be resigned to the hour of death and the loss of all worldly possessions. We may do this now meritoriously, but then it must be done forcibly and with danger of being lost. Let us live as though every day were to be the last of our lives. Oh, how well does he who lives always united with the remembrance of death present to his mind. Oh my God, when will a day arrive in which I shall see thee and love thee face to face? I do not deserve it, but thy wounds, O oh my Redeemer, are my hope. I will say to thee with St. Bernard, quote, Thy wounds are my merits, and hence I will take courage. I will also say to thee with St. Augustine, May I die, O Lord, that I may behold thee, O Mary, my mother, in the blood of Jesus Christ, in thy holy intercession, do I hope to be saved and to come to praise thee, thank thee, and love thee forever in heaven. Concluding prayer, I give you thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will, that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O Triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions my state in life and rule of life now till the hour of my death i give you thanks O god for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me i see that although i forgot thee thou didst not forget me i am sorry my sovereign good for having turned my back upon thee and i am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I've been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance in thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory and for all poor sinners, particularly myself. Nomina Patria Fili, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.